Thank you very much for coming to this expo and this beautiful opportunity to represent um, what we are doing here at the college and what is available um, to all of us. Um, I'm going to talk about the Sujok therapy, which is a um, natural therapy performed on hands and feet most. Why Sujok? First, because of its simplicity. Sujok is also extremely effective. And the beauty is that Sujok can be applied on its own. Hi, hello, please come in. Can be applied on its own as well as combined with any other modality of treatment, official or alternative. Sujok therapy can be practiced on two levels. The first level is a level on correspondence. When we have a look at our hands and feet and similarity between their constitution and our full body constitution, the most common used is so-called uh, main correspondence system. This is just the correspondence on the body, of the body on the front of our hands. Um, you will see later on um, other slides. There is also another very popular smaller system called insect system when we put the whole body on just every finger. But Sujak doesn't end in this, um, at this level. Sujak actually can be practiced at much deeper level, so-called energy flow level, when we are implementing, um, putting together traditional Chinese medicine and also chakras and Indian medicine, so oriental medicine on um, hands and feet together with Western medicine. And that is really deeper um, treatment and um, necessary to have a little bit more um, skills to practice it. So this is the main correspondence, um, very common used chart. I'll give you everyone, if you have problems we have a look at that. Simply, just if you have a look at your hand and if you have a look at your body, it will be so logical, the similarity. Because what we have, we have the main part as we have the trunk on our body and then we have five protrusions. Two arms, two legs and head and neck. Head and neck. We have front of our body we have front of our body and we have back on the back of our hands. Exactly the same similarity is on the feet. Imagine just that we can transfer our thumb from this position, which is really useful for us being um, extremely skilled um, beings. Um, if we transfer our thumb to the top of our palm, we will exactly have the whole picture of the body on the hand, same on the feet. And that is simplicity of Sujok that I was talking about. Similarity is the number of protruding parts, so we have five extensions on our body from the trunk, we have five fingers. We have the location of the protruding parts, our hands are more lateral and they are slightly sh um, shorter than our legs, exactly like our second and fifth finger are slightly on sides and shorter than our fifth finger, uh, third and um, fourth finger. The direction, our arms and our legs are directed um, downwards and our head is upward exactly like that. Our thumb is the only one in opposite direction comparing to our other four fingers. Proportion. Our head and neck are the shortest ones as our thumb is the shortest. Arms somewhere in the middle as second and um, fifth finger and our legs the longest as third and fourth finger. 
And this is something that most of practitioners and ordinary people applying SUJOK are using, that is correspondence to the skeletal system. If we transferred in that way our body on hand and feet, then we transferred in our skeletal system as well as all the other systems. So on our thumb, we're going to have the neck. That area at the base of the thumb is going to be area between um, our shoulder blades up to diaphragm level and the rest is going to be, uh, so the rest of the spine from diaphragm to the end is going to be at the end of our hands. In the middle, exactly like it is on the body.